Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for uh, June 2022. We are going to jump right in here, Leo, and see what is going on for you at this time. And that'll be that. So let's see. Uh, you show up in a very strong position. I like that. That puts you in a position of power and strength when you show up as yourself like this. So that's nice. Uh, you do have the seven of wands in reverse. I will keep that in mind. I don't read reversals, so it really doesn't matter. But uh, let's see what is going on for you. I would definitely be careful of any messages from the past. You have this message of concern card. You have the three of cups. And then you did have the seven of wands in reverse. And the seven of wands in reverse could represent a person uh, who has no boundaries or someone crossing boundaries as well. So I kind of feel that if you have a person that you don't want to come in and mess up your day, then I would be very careful of that with that message of concern. I would be careful also of repeat patterns. Like if you have a person who always is repeating a pattern, uh, then I would be careful of that person, whether it's love or otherwise. I just have this story of a person who like always has the same issue, always the same thing. And maybe it's actually a different issue, but I feel like the way they approach the their issues in life or the way that they come at you when they have an issue, I feel like that is what is the same, is the, the approach. And I would just be very careful of that. You have this co-create card. Again, co-creation is where it's at. And from 2021, even though that was last year, we can't time travel, but from like last year, really, I mean, it's always very positive, but I feel like it started like last year or like even 2020, co-creation is where it's at. I feel like that's where there's going to be a lot of wealth creation, a lot of abundance and just like a lot of good stuff. So I'm a big fan of working together with other people or creating mutually beneficial relationships with other people, especially in work or business, but definitely also, you know, goes for all other relationships as well, because I think it's just going to increase the flow in the world. Uh, you have the strength card, the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this could be a problem, <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles. It's like you could be like, oh, I, I I, want to be independent. But as I always say with the Nine of Pentacles, she has three pentacles on this side, six on this side. She's willing to give three pentacles to any situation that she enters into and she keeps six for herself. That is not a number. That is a percentage, Leo. So what that means is those three pentacles are always worth more. She's always increasing her abundance. So those three pentacles are like a percentage of energy that she is willing to invest in any new situation, love, business, or otherwise. And she knows that, that she needs to keep enough for herself. So she keeps more for herself. But again, that doesn't mean that what she's giving is less because it's always growing. Eventually, those three pentacles will reach the amount of the six pentacles. Like, at some point in the future. So, you know, I feel like you need to be willing to give a little in co-creative experiences because it's just gonna grow and grow and grow. You have the Ace of Cups. I, feel, I see a very fulfilling situation coming in for you, but it's like not here yet. I, I hear the word Star Trek popping into my head. I don't watch Star Trek. I'm not into Star Trek or Sp Space Wars, Star Wars. <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna have like a million angry nerds coming at me now, but uh, I'm not into any of that. But what I would say, it just popped into my head for some reason, but I feel like it's talking about the future. <laughs> and I feel like there's an opportunity coming in for you in the future with the Ace of Cups. Uh, I just feel like this is you. I feel that you're coming up in a very strong position in this reading. Uh, I feel like saying, don't let this rain on your parade here, Leo, this message of concern. I would also say, especially if you're at this point in your life where things are going well, it's like if you have a person in your life who magically always has an issue when things are going well for you, it's time to cut that person off. I feel it's time to get rid of that person with the message of concern card. And I do feel that this is something from the past. I say that because of the three of cups. The three of cups can represent a reunion. But when I put the card down, I got passed. So this is a person that you've been dealing with. Could be love, it could be otherwise. Again, I'm not getting one or the other here popping into my head. I just feel like it's a person. It could be a brother, a sibling, it could be anyone. And again, obviously I'm not suggesting you cut your family off, but I mean, sometimes we need to if they're super toxic, but you know, if they're not, maybe we just need to draw boundaries, seven of wands. There are no boundaries in this situation. That seven of wands came out in reverse. So I feel you need to set yourself free from a situation with a person from the past. And again, I feel either this person always has an issue. The other issue that's popping into my head is if this is love, I feel like every time you finally like drift away, they come crawling back. They they like sink their claws in you and they get you to come back. So I would be careful if you are in that situation. 
Uh, you have these seven wands again. This came up in reverse. I immediately got boundaries. So I feel you need to set boundary, put boundaries up w with this person if it's a person. And if you do that, I feel like you will be victorious. Chariot. I feel you're moving away anyway. The chariot, he's moving away from what is familiar. There's a city behind him. And this is where he's always been. So he's already kind of well on his way. He's already moving in a new direction. I feel that that is true for you. I feel like you're just already moving in a new direction. Uh, next, you have love. I feel you need to invite more love into your life. And I'm not just talking about a relationship. I'm talking about all things that you love. So if you are not doing the things that you love, if you are not putting time into hobbies or doing things that you enjoy, or if you do not love what you are doing, I kind of feel this is saying it's time for a change. Um, it's definitely time for a change. You have the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is only does what she is extremely passionate about. She only does the things that bring her joy, happiness, abundance. Um, she follows her desire as well. She desires to do something. She does it. <laughs> she doesn't think about you know the consequences of her desires or anything like that. And again, we're talking about positive things here, so there really are no consequences, right? But you have the Eight of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, I'm actually going to pull both of these cards because I feel like they're tied together. I feel like there's too many worries and too many concerns about like, what happens if I do this? What happens if I do that? If you're finding yourself in that zone where you're kind of like worrying about consequences of something when there probably aren't going to be any consequences, I would move in that direction. We are in a time of like heightened fear, I believe, but we also need to overcome. We kind of need to face these fears. There really is no, there really is no good way to... <laughs> To say it, it's like you know, I, I, like I've said to other people, I, I think that the the like we are seeing in the world how our elaters have really bad ideas, right? Their ideas are terrible. They want us all eating bugs, and they probably want to put us all in prison and everything like that, right? They're terrible. So I feel like their ideas are super bad. The only way we're going to defeat them is with better ideas, and that's why I've been encouraging people for like months to come up with better ideas on how to do things. And again, it's gonna these I, these things are going to come from us, you know, if you believe that we're entering into the age of Aquarius or that we are in the age of Aquarius, again, we came from Pisces, which is external giving to everyone, right? It, it, Aquarius is internal. It, it's like the changes are going to come from us. It's not going to come from, you know, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, bastard, right? Um, or anyone else, right? So we have to kind of create these changes. And that's what I feel like is going on here. You have this desk card. It says, pay attention to your work. And you have this pig. It says, beware of greed. So uh, I feel it's time to pay attention to your work for sure. I would make sure you're doing things for the right reasons. I feel like you are, but I just feel it's like there's a certain, I feel there's a better flow. We're going to, I'm going to clarify in just a second, but I feel there's like a better flow to the way that you do things, or there could be a better flow to what you are doing. And it will actually make you more money. If you enter into that, we're going to figure that one out. You have the high pre, I mean, the uh, hangman, the five of wands and the 10 of swords. This five of wands is being conflicted. I feel everyone is feeling the five of wands energy. It's like we're all, I feel being pulled in a new direction in life towards new businesses, new ideas, new, better ideas, whatever. But it's like, we're still stuck to the old paradigm. You know, we're, I feel like we're still stuck to the old way of doing things. And, but it's like once one person or a group of people starts separating away, I, th I feel like it's going to give people permission to separate away from this. And then boom, positive changes, right? But it's like somebody has to start. <laughs> I don't trust me. I've been trying. I get it. <laughs> I, you know, I, I've been trying to figure it out for a long time. Like, what do I do? Uh, you have the four swords waiting, praying. You're hoping and praying for changes in your life. I think you're hoping and praying that things get better with the four swords. The hangman also says you're ready. It's like you've made all the sacrifices. Your head is glowing. So you've gained enlightenment. You know what to do at this time. So it's like, how do we get you to move forward? Let's see here, Leo, we are just going to clarify and see. Number one, I feel like separating away from a person. Again, if you have that person who's always causing a problem, you know, that will help. With the strength card, you have the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles is holding on too tightly to the way things kind of like used to be, you know. Um, I feel like you need to move more towards possibilities are the words that I'm getting. I feel that, I mean, probability is what I would say. I feel if you, it, like, let's say you're worrying about the future too much. I feel like you're worrying too much about possibilities and you're not living in the world of probability, right? So if you're saying things like, oh, you know, if I start this business, 
it could fail. If I start this relationship, they could leave me. And like all these things, that that is living in possibility. That's not living in probability because you're saying this possibly could happen, but you don't actually know. And it's like when we take full control of our life and we make things happen for ourselves, then you know we kind of exit that world of possibility where things may or may not happen, right? Things will always happen. That's the whole point of life, right? We shouldn't be avoiding these things. And I, I don't know what's happened really. But I feel like, you know, people are trying to avoid, like avoid things like relationships because they could possibly get hurt. It's like, yeah, you're always going to get hurt in relationships. I think when we learn to embrace that as part of life and we learn to embrace it as an ex- just an experience that we're having, right? And we stop taking it so seriously, then we actually find a great relationship. Or, you know, same thing with business. If we just put ourselves out there and we're not afraid of criticism or what our mom thinks or whatever, then we actually become successful, right? With the Ace of Cups, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Uh, I see an increase in your abundance here. It's like a very, this is very nice. I see this happening in kind of leaps and bounds is what I would say. She has a rabbit right here. It can represent a lot of things. It can represent fear and anxiety. She's actually focused on the pinnacle, not her fears. It can also represent fertility and abundance. And I feel for you that it's really more saying that there are leaps where maybe you're like making a little bit more money then you kind of like move along, then you make another jump up, kind of like a rabbit, right? With the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is my card that says don't rush, although what I would say with the Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords to me can be a card of creating momentum. Momentum is where we keep things rolling. (laughs) So I would say like don't get lazy, right? Keep things moving forward, especially in business or work, like if you are doing something that's working, keep doing it, double down on what works, and then keep experimenting, finding new things that work, and eventually you'll just have a bunch of stuff that's working, and you know that's what we should all get to, right? With the Three of Cups, you have the star, happiness, celebration, you're healing from this situation with a person, number one, but I also feel like you're more single focus here. You know, she is maybe focused on just this one star, The star can represent like your North Star, your guiding light, the thing that motivates you to action, the thing that you want to do. Uh, It's kind of interesting because I personally believe that when we are very focused on kind of our chief aim, as they call it in uh, Think and Grow Rich, right? Uh, I think when we focus on our chief aim, everything else in life falls into place because we're probably doing what we're supposed to be doing. But it's also very attractive. Again, if you're looking for love, it's like it's very attractive to people to go towards a person who kind of like knows where they're going in life or has a definite focus, right? And um, by the way, your definite focus could be to like have a family. It could be to get married. It could be to start a business. It doesn't have to be financially related. But um, again, I feel like people who kind of know what they want and they just move towards it, everything just kind of falls into place. With the seven of wands, you have the six of wands. Six of wands, a card of success, abundance. It's a card of like hard work as well. So I feel like you're finding success. The reason it represents hard work is because he's been to war. So he's coming back from war on the six of wands and he he is victorious, but he's had to experience all the battles, right? (laughs) It's like he had to go through all those challenges to be successful. With the chariot, you have the 10 of wands again. There you go. Hard work. So you're about to put down your burdens though, Leo. He's about to reach this home. He's about to have a harvest. That is a harvest that he is carrying and he's about to put his burdens down. So really, Ten of Wands is not a bad card. He's about to have a harvest. He's about to put an end to the hard work. With the Nine of Swords, you have the lovers. I feel like you need to choose new love, <laughs> plain and simple. Again, I can't tell you what to do. You can you can do whatever you want, Leo, but the cards are saying new love. Lovers is definitely a card of new love, a card of moving in a new direction. Traditionally, it's a card of the crossroads, like just picking a new path. I feel like something is a nightmare. Something causes a nightmare. I feel like you need to move away from it. doesn't even have to be love. could be something else you're attached to. With the Eight of Swords, you have the Empress. I feel like you need to realize your own value here, Leo. I keep telling people, I've been saying this for like the past six months. Whatever reason, I we entered into this year. I kept getting the word values, right? But I feel we need to know what we're coming, where we are coming from. Meaning, like, I feel like we need to get very clear on our values this year to the point where I would literally write a list of your values. You know, your values could be, I value a person who has a family or wants to have a family, who has a good relationship with their family. I value a person who believes this, that, the other thing, whatever. And when we do that, then when people enter into our lives and they do not match our values, then we can kick them to the curb, (laughs) right? Because, and we're standing up for what we want. Also, when we get clear on our values, the universe knows what to bring us. So not only does this go for love, but 
It also goes for other things. The other thing I would say is I would treat yourself the, according to your values. And the Empress, she treats herself very well. She truly loves herself. And because of that, she attracts all good things. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Four Cups. Yeah, I feel like uh, you always get the Four Cups, I'm pretty sure. Leo, and I'm also pretty sure that, you know, you've been trying to manifest things that you desire to have in your life, but maybe your manifestations just haven't been perfect. You know, I feel like your manifestations haven't been exactly what you want with the four cups. So let's see if we can get some answers on that, Leo. Oops, the camera might have just gone off, but let me let me fix this real quick. Uh, there we go. Uh, with the hangman, you have the king of swords, the king of swords card of wisdom and knowledge. Do you have the king of swords twice? No. Uh, the, it, again, it says you're ready for action with the hangman. The hangman, he sacrifices movement, basically the use of his arms and legs so that he can gain enlightenment. But now it's like, you know what to do now, Leo, with your life. I feel it's time to kind of take something to the next level. With the five of wands, you have the chariot twice. Love it. Damn. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like some of you could be moving, but you're conflicted about moving. Five of wands. Five of wands is like conflict. And you have the ten of wands over here. I feel like it'd be a lot of work for you to move. Maybe you'd have to like uproot your life. Maybe there's a lot to move, <laughs> right? Maybe there's a lot to do basically to be able to move and all that other stuff. And so, you know, I kind of feel there's this like wavering energy as far as a move is concerned. I don't know. I see a lot of benefits in moving for you. I'm pretty sure in past readings I've told you, you don't even have to be moving. You could just be switching jobs. That's a move, right? So maybe you're not physically moving location, but maybe you're moving jobs. Maybe you're moving from one relationship to the other. I see a lot of benefits in a move. What you know, Take it how it resonates, whatever type of move you think. Uh, but I would definitely uh, make the move because <laughs> I feel like it'll be very beneficial for you. With the four swords, you have the eight of cups. Again, you're clearly walking away from you know this person, this situation from the past. It's kind of interesting. Because in a weird way, I feel like saying you're walking away from your yourself. <laughs> I feel like you are kind of walking towards your the 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 Empress vision, the you know whatever that version of yourself is, someone who lives according to their values, and that's going to be very successful for you, Leo. But this is a really good reading. I really like it. I would focus on co-creative experiences as well. It's like any future relationships. If you get into the relationship and the person isn't giving to the relationship, I would cut. I would end it. Plain and simple. But I feel like you're moving towards a lot of success. I love this. So thank you for being here, Leo. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your month.